Hello friends. I planned on doing some pressure washing today, but my pressure washer decided to give up on me. I cranked it up, didn't have any pressure, looked around, there's water coming out from below it. I think it's coming out of the pump head. Not sure what happened to it. I'm hoping that it's maybe just some seals that blew out or something like that. I'm gonna take it apart, see if it's something I can fix. This is a Troy built model that I got at Lowe's a few years ago. It's the 2700 PSI. It's got a Briggs and Stratton. 175 cc engine on it. It's designed for home use. Hey, the engine runs great, so I'm hoping it's something I can fix. I'm gonna get started taking it apart. Stick around. Let me get the uh, hoses off of here. This is the bottom of the pump, and it looks like this pump head is attached with three Allen head screws. Those look to be about six millimeter. And get a wrench to try to take those off. Okay, so I've got all the bolts loose now, so these should just drop on out. And the head should just come down off of the pump now. That's the bottom of the pump, and those three things sticking out there go in and out, and that's how it builds the pressure. I've got the spark plug wire taken loose, so let me pull the cord and let you see how that works. This is what the pump head looks like, and let me show you here what where these washers are, where the pistons go up and down. Of course, I was hoping that maybe just one of these washers had deteriorated that I could simply replace. But uh, after looking at it, there's the problem. It's got two fairly large cracks in the housing. Since I don't really have anything to lose, I may try fixing this with JB Weld. This is the original JB Weld and also the strongest. This one is 5,020 PSI, and this sets up in four to six hours. They have a quick set that sets up, I think, in five minutes, but it's not quite as strong. And then they also have a version that will set up underwater. Of course, I don't need any one of those. And I kind of like the idea of being able to work with it a little before it sets up. Obviously, I wanted to get the strongest I could. So let's get started. I'm using a wax and grease remover to clean this area real well where the JB Weld is gonna go. I'm gonna mix up probably a lot more than I need. This was less than $7. So I don't think it's really worth trying to save for another project. Although it looks like I'm going to have plenty left over even if I do use a lot. I'm going to use this little screwdriver to start with, try to make sure I get it forced down in the actual cracks. I'm probably just going to fill in this whole valley, and I think I may cover this area as well because that's apparently a weak spot. And I don't see any cracks over here, but I see a like a hairline indention where it might be a fracture. Uh, but not quite all the way through. So I think I'm going to cover this area as well since I've got plenty of this product. All right, this has been curing for about three days now. According to the instructions, it should be fully cured after 24 hours, but I wasn't in any real hurry, so I wanted to give it 
plenty of time to get cured. This is where those two big cracks were, right in here. And I filled all of this in. And then after I looked at it a little bit closer, I felt like I could see some tiny little hairline cracks in this area. So I went ahead and put a layer over this entire area. So it should be ready to go. I'm going to get it put back on the pressure washer and see if it works. Well, I thought I had it fixed. I put the pump head back on, turned on the water, and as soon as I turned on the water, I saw water coming out of this area. And of course, that was before I cranked up the pressure washer. So that tells me that that was cracked before and I didn't even see it. So let me see if I can give you a little bit closer view. It's really hard to see, but you can see right there, there's a crack. So I'm gonna take these two bolts out and see what it looks like. Okay, that's not looking good. You can see here that this is completely cracked between these two chambers. That's going to be hard to fix with those threaded bolts. But there again, it's not any good like it is. So I may just JB weld it up, put the bolts in, and, and weld over them and uh, see if it'll work. Let's give it a shot. It's not pretty, but hopefully I've got all the cracks covered now that I didn't see before. All right, I've got the water on, and so far, I don't see any leaks at all. So let's crank it up and see what it does. I took the pump head back off, and I was hoping that it was just more cracks that I hadn't seen before, but that wasn't the case. You can see right here where it failed. Of course, that's a fairly significant crack, and that's where the uh, valley was, so that was the thickest of the JB weld. And then, of course, it cracked on around here at the end. So I'm going to uh, get online and order a new pump head and just replace it. I appreciate you watching. Also appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. And until next time, so long.